Hello, in this video I'm just going to quickly show you how to set up a mailer light so that you've got a landing page and an auto response so that you can set up a lead magnet and start building your email list. So let's jump on in. So this is just like in the main screen, I've gone to sites down here. Then you need to go create site on the right hand side. You give your site a name and if it's going to be a full website that you want to set up or a landing page. So we're just going to go landing page here and we're just going to put freebie. Save and continue. Now we can add a new group of what we want this um, group to be on our list. So we can give them all individual names. So I'm just going to call them freebie as the group that everything's going to go to. So now we've got that group there, we can hit continue. You need to be um, on a paid plan to get any of the templates that are already there. So I start from scratch anyway, so let's just um, jump in and just create one from scratch. It's pretty simple and you can easily do this. So don't, don't be thinking that it's going to be overwhelming because it's not. Just having a little think. Okay, so this is how it comes up. So basically all you need to do is click in here and change your text. So what do we want to say? Like grab your freebie. Yeah. Right. We can change all of this text. We can change what's linked to the button by just going, just clicking on it and this will appear on the right hand side. And then all you need to do is change what you want to have here. So if you want to have a link here um, to that button, you can just put in like a website address or whatever you want that to link to. You can also have a secondary button. Um, if you start typing, I'm pretty sure it pops it in over here. You can change this image. This is just one image um, that they've done in a program like Canva. See, it's got the dimensions there, 962 by 558. So that's all you would need to do to set up an image to put here is just to make an image that size. And then when you click on the pencil over here, you just hit delete on that image and then you will be able to select your own image. And if you'd like it to link to something, so when people click on that image, if you'd like it to go somewhere, you just put that link there. Um, all these sections are all editable. You can delete them if you want to get rid of them and you don't want them there, just delete. If you want to duplicate and have more of them, um, if you want to move them around, just use the arrows to move them up or down on the page. Um, and you can just change the text by clicking on it. If you want to change the colors of the text, um, you can just click on that section. And then you've got like the color options over here, as well as you can change the background colors. So let's continue down. It's got more advertising stuff and then it's got like a sign up bit at the bottom. So if we were wanting to set up a freebie and we want people to sign up, maybe we'll use this bit at the bottom. So then we would set it up like let's say grab your free template. Yeah. And all I'm going to do is delete all of these ones that we don't need. Just because we're not going to spend the time to set them up right now, we are just doing this right. So we don't want this button, so we can um, delete that button. If I remember how to do it, include buttons. There we go. So all I did was click on this box here. These options came up, and so I could click on get rid of that button. So we could just have a bit about our freebie here. We could have a photo of our freebie. And then we could have like a sign up section here. So let's just delete that bit as well. So maybe you could say grab it here. Um, and then we could just have that freebie up there, grab it here. And then all they have to do is enter their email address. So what you want to happen when they enter their email address is what you need to set up next. So see up here, 
So when you click on the box, you get these options. So it automatically comes to this content page. But if you click on forms up here, um, so when someone hits subscribe, it's going to take them to a success page. Um, and also they only have to fill in the email address here. So if you want them to add in anything extra, you can just hit that and you can add a field. But we're not going to bother. We're just going to leave it as email because we want to encourage them to fill things out. So basically, where it says success page, that success page is up here at the very top. So this is what it looks like. Now, if you want a super simple landing page and giving them a freebie, put your freebie on this page. So what you could say is um, grab it here, enter your email below and subscribe and stay here um, on this page and your freebie will be available straight away with it like something like that. That's telling them that it's going to be there. And then all you would need to do is just go to that success page and you can fill it in. Thank you. Um, here is your freebie. And then you can just go here to download. And then you can just hyperlink that, insert your link, put in your um, whatever the link is. They can open it in a new tab and you just hit insert and that will hyperlink it and you could just put that in the middle etc and then you could change the background and all your colors and really brand it for yourself but basically that is all you need to do now if you wanted to set it up to have an automated email go you would set all of this up first and then save and then you would go back and you would just create um, on the back end let's just you have to save and publish to get out of it. So once you actually save and publish and fill all of this in, then you get this automation section at the end. And on this automation section is where you would set up your freebie. So you could add an email here and then you just fill in your details over here and click on design email and then you can fill all that out and save it and that will automatically send that so you can have a pause you can add a delay or a condition if they fill something in um, but that's how that works so i hope that that has helped if you've got any questions at all just let me know have a fantastic day